Hi there, welcome to QA Box and this new series about mastering XPath for UI automation testing. All right, so in this video, we are going to use index and last and position functions. So if an XPath expression returns multiple elements, we have to use index and the syntax for the same is element and those two square brackets right and inside that you are going to provide in the index value now you can pass in the values like one two three right or you can also do one plus one so which means that anything that you write inside these square brackets is an expression and would be evaluated okay the important thing is in programming languages the index starts with zero okay but with with xpath it starts with one okay there are exceptions to that but most of the popular browsers in that it starts with one okay so here you could see that in the sample control section right there are four buttons okay and we have to identify these buttons let us inspect these and see if we have any unique properties so they are available inside the field set and inside this div if i expand this the text only is different so of course we can identify these with the help of contains and with the help of text all right is there any other way so let's identify that and i'm going to do control f in here all right and let us start finding out these controls so we are going to say two forward slash and we are going to say button all right and now what do we have to do next we have to provide in the class blue all right so let us provide class is equal to blue and now you could see that i can find these buttons right but i want to let's say find out the first button okay so how can i find that so i can use one bracket one opening and one closing square bracket and i can say one all right so it is going to select the first button element this is how we are going to do that and we can also specify we can say position because this is an abbreviation of position so we can say position is equal to and this is a function by the way so you're invoking it so is equal to one so you could see that the result is still same you can say two three and four if you say five there is no such element and hence you're not finding anything which is like you can you can also do it like this and same results you can say four now you can identify it what are the other ways so we can also say last so if i say last so you could see that the last one is highlighted okay if i say minus one all right so you could see that this one is highlighted the third one okay you see minus two so the second one is highlighted you say minus one and now minus three basically and now it is going to select the first one what if you say minus four nothing right so no such control exists so you can use the normal index right or you can be more expressive and say you know last and position equal to something so this is how you are going to use indexing in xpath thank you so much